Hi, Casper here from Grey Pip on the 8th of March 2017. Tasting a vintage of Claude Pap, Chateauneuf de Pap uh, 2011 vintage, and um, 2011 was sort of passed by quite quite a lot of consumers, having been led to believe that it wasn't up to much by perhaps by the wine press. Um, and despite it being considered a I suppose a slightly second division vintage. I know that it's listing itself at 15% alcohol, so it's not exactly lightweight in that regard anyway, but let's have a taste, you know, nice, lovely depth of colour. Ah, oh, really, really interesting nose that I think majors on varieties other than Grenache, and of course Grenache is the, is the mainstay great variety of uh, Chateau Neuf and I think um, here we are getting other grapes because I'm I'm smelling sort of roast um, chestnuts um, which I think um, could well be Mourvedre, of which there's a failed dollop in, in Claude de Pape. A sort of smoky aroma, a bit of, bit of brand new leather. A tang, a slightly saline, plummy note. Gosh, lots going on here, you know, lots of wild fruit as well. Slightly creamy with that lovely sponfire sort of smoke, it goes through the nose, very nice, let's have a sip. Well there's a, there's a creaminess in the fruit, it's dark, but it's fresh as well and it has focus and is, is, is precise and exact and um, finishes in this mineral sort of tumble of freshness that sort of drops out the back of the creaminess of the fruit. And, um, I, 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 this is, you know, this is the shadow, kind of shadow nerf I really like. It, it, it doesn't tire me out. It, um, I suspect, you know, after that being 50%, it probably would tire me out after a few glasses, but, um, just delicious. Mm. Lots of spice and, and sweet spice at that, but, um, some upright, fresh structure in there that does make you salivate and makes you w w interested to have another sip would be perfect with a plate of charcuterie, it would be quite amazing. Um, but that is utterly delicious um, because a lot of consumers didn't want to buy 2011. Uh, probably really quite cheap, I'd imagine, and, and very rewarding. Uh, Clay de Pat will always be a fabulous wine and um, drinking extremely well now and uh, probably no particular hurry either. Uh, there we are, 2011, Chateau Neuf de Pap, Clodipap. Um, yeah, gosh, my, my kind of wine, delicious.